We're in it. We are in it. Great. So let's get into this game here. Artisan versus Steelix. Now, I just want to give you a little bit of an idea on Steelix's run here. He's going back to LA in just a little bit, but he is in Westchester. He was CT boy, but I always considered him a Westchester boy at heart. He's in town for a little while, and his showing just this past week has been phenomenal. He won UD. I think he won another tournament. Yes, last night. I'm unsure exactly in the details of that, but... Regardless, he's been flying high recently. But one of the players against him trying to stop that weekly momentum is Artisan, one of the staple Palutena's here in the Westchester scene. Somebody who has been maining this character since Smash 4. You know, a lot of people just sort of picked up uh, Palu because like, oh, this is a top tier character. This is like the one that I want to play if I want to play top tier. Uh, Artisan has earned this character. <laughs> he had to suffer through, like, three years of Smash 4 Palutena. And honestly, like, it really, he really does show, in that case, a fundamental understanding of the character. A lot of what she does is better tools. As we see right there, the edge guard's looking so clean, so pristine right now, coming out from Artisan. And against Falco, that is a game changer. Now, admittedly, another thing, Steelix, normally his combo game with Falco is so creative and smooth. And I'm going to be honest that right now, maybe it's just a little bit of the... Okay, I stand corrected. I was going to say, you know, he doesn't have the same explosive, like, 60% combo game that I normally see from him. But right there, instead, his eye was on the prize, taking Palu's stock. And th that was huge for him. What looks like almost an unwinnable game. This is now super doable. Both players have to be scared. Especially these lower percents where Steelix can possibly get a huge combo in or an unfortunate SD from Artisan. Steelix doesn't look too happy about that despite the fact he won the game. And we see the run it back. You know, I, I understand the run it back. It wasn't like the stage was really what lost him the game. However, uh, sometimes it's just the right... Like, think about the character you're facing. It's a Falco. Falco does, I mean, Falco likes more stages, but Falco does also really like PS2. But, you know, Artisan just realizing that, you know, I uh, definitely could have won that game. Just some, you know, unfortunate SD and a couple misplays here and there and disadvantage. And he just decides to run it back, not really dwelling on the loss. I'm liking the careful mobility from Artisan. You notice he's doing all the stashing back and forth, but he's still giving himself enough space to shield those lasers when Steelix throws them out. Which normally, like, Falco lasers might not be the greatest move, but they do help, you know, punish people for just dashing. Like catching Artisan, dropping shield. Doesn't go for. I know that I've seen him go a lot for the up throw up air to actually get kills, but apparently that's very DI dependent. I know he can do things to mix it up, but maybe he's just respecting the opponent, doesn't want to go for any up air stuff. Instead, wow, gets that drag down neutral air, up tilt to back air. A Falco staple, but it's always so cool to see. Nobody might get back air here. Instead, Artisan opts for a forward air, and he's going to be returning. What a beautiful. Fair to get off the ledge right there from uh, Steelix. It seems like his disadvantage is much better this game, especially off stage, just uh, to start things off. And if you're Artisan, you had a huge lead in that game one. You definitely, at some point in time, knew what you needed to be doing. And right there, closing out a stock, that's really big for him. The gap does not really widen, although, <laughs> as I say that, okay, yeah, these Falco combos are not quite as insane as I normally see from him. Maybe I'm just. Uh, all right, he's at 90. I, I don't... <laughs> it feels like that. Oh, my. This is... I don't want to say commentator's curse, but... 
<laughs> Steelix seems to understand what the uh, what the audience wanted right there, and he went for that crazy play, that solid read at the end there. And that means that uh, Steelix is in a great position to possibly take this set. He's already up a game. He's up an entire stock right now. He managed to deal the 50% to pretty much lap him. Granted, Artisan, you cannot write him out. He is a great player. He's really so familiar with this, uh, with his character. <gasps> and all he needs to do, I think that the name of the game right now is just an effective edge guard. He's going for these low committal, uh, yeah, he's going for these low committal edge guard things, which I guess at this percent is fine, but at the same time, you need to get something started, because otherwise, Oh, you're just going to end up getting taken all around for the ride. 